My name is uh, David Boys. I'm Deputy General Secretary of Public Services International. I'm speaking on behalf of our General Secretary, Rosa Pavanelli, who uh, sends her regrets. She's at another meeting, not as important as this one, but it's another meeting. Um, it's my honor and pleasure to acknowledge and thank uh, Sandrine Salerno, Administrative Councillor, former Mayor, City of Geneva, uh, and Hertha Dabla Gemelin, uh, Professor of Law, former Member of Parliament, uh, and former Minister of Justice, Germany, and also to thank all the ambassadors and mission staff from over 40 countries who have expressed an interest in this meeting. Um, PSI is a global trade union federation. We uh, are present in 160 countries. Our unions represent 20 million workers in public services. Our members are very concerned about TISA. What we're seeing is that the world's most powerful corporations behind the TISA want to turn public services into profit-making activities. It's that simple. We feel that if they are successful, this will fundamentally change the way our societies are structured. We are convinced that the social cohesion will not survive the imperatives of profit maximization. We already have 20 years experience of privatization in a number of sectors and a number of countries, and the results are not good. We have also many years experience, and people in the room uh, know who they are, of the different varieties of and precursors to TISA. The corporate model is well established. Use the trade deals to force privatization, to deregulate, and then to block any public policies which could harm corporate profits, including, as Hubert mentioned, with expensive litigation in supranational arbitration bodies. This model of TISA is also especially harmful to developing countries which need to still build their public infrastructure and protect infant industry. Uh, as Hubert mentioned, we wonder why all the secrecy? Why is this deal being done behind closed doors? Uh, so. We convene this meeting in part to shine the light because we find that light helps things grow and we want democracy to grow. Uh, we want to share with you the information and the analysis that we've developed over the past couple of years. Many of our uh, researchers, academics and allies are in the room and we are very fortunate that they, they could join us. Uh, what we insist on is that all negotiations and all documents be transparent, be accessible to the public. This is too important to leave to a small group uh, of so-called trade specialists who are basically corporate uh, shills. So for us, uh, this event wouldn't be possible without the help uh, of our close friends and allies from uh, FES. Uh, and from our World is Not for Sale network. Uh, this meeting is one of a series of close collaborations around the world. We share many of the same concerns, and importantly, we've shared much of the work in preparing this meeting. Uh, so for me, it's especially important from PSI to personally thank Hubert, uh, director of the FES Geneva office. He recently arrived uh, before he was working uh, as head of globalization project in Berlin. Uh, and PSI, our network of unions around the world, works with the network of FES offices on a range of subjects, tax justice, trade, public services, labor rights. And we have benefited from uh, Uber's uh, leadership for many, many years, so we're glad to welcome you to Geneva. We need you here. Um, and as you heard, Yvonne Thiemann is one of the ladies who did most of the work and is uh, regrettably sick today, uh, but this was initially her idea. It was not his idea. So uh, <laughs> it was started a long time ago, and uh, regrettably she's sick. Uh, 
from the Our World is Not for Sale network. Deborah's done a tons of, ton of work. Uh, she has helped to make this meeting a success. What we see here uh, is uh, part of the proof, but she brings years of expertise uh, in uh, fighting for fair trade. Um, I want to thank the many PSI affiliates who've come from every continent on the globe uh, for your coming here, but also for your solid support to PSI in the months prior and in the months to come. Um, for me, it's important to thank all the staff who have worked. This, this room is all quiet. We've got our interpreters up there. Everything looks, uh, looks just fine. It has taken them hours and hours and hours to bring you here, to put you in your seats, to make sure you have the documents. And those staff uh, deserve a special round of applause. So please. So. On behalf of PSI, I want to thank you for your interest, for your participation today, but most importantly, for the work you will do when you go home, because this thing has to be stopped in its tracks. For us, it's toxic. So again, thanks to all of you. Thanks to everybody up here, and let's have a good meeting.